Welcome to this special episode of the Apple Insider Podcast. Today we're recapping Apple's spring loaded event where they announced a ton of things, including a new iMac powered by the M1 and a new iPad Pro powered by the M1 as well. We'll get to all that in a moment. This episode is brought to you by SaneBox. You can learn more at sanebox.com slash Apple Insider. The first thing that Apple CEO Tim Cook discussed was the Apple Card, and they now introduced Apple Card Family. So if you have a spouse or even kids that you would like to also use your Apple Card line of credit, you can add those family members to Apple Card, and the credit lines are actually merged. Everyone will actually get credit history credit for purchases and more made with those cards. You can even give Apple Cards to people in your family ages 13 and over with spending limits. More details will be coming on that soon, but that's Apple Card Family. Then Apple announced that that they are updating its Apple podcast platform. Not only are updates coming to the app with some design refreshes to show pages and things like that, not only that, but they are adding Apple podcast subscription options where listeners inside the podcast app can subscribe to special editions of the shows, whether that's ad-free, sponsor-free, bonus content, and more. We'll be getting more details on the Apple Podcast subscriptions. You know, we just launched our Patreon where you can support the show, patreon.com slash Apple Insider. But we will be letting you know on this Friday's episode when we go more in depth on these topics, what that podcast subscription service means for us here at Apple Insider. Apple spent a moment talking about the iPhone 12 and they actually added a new color. Purple is coming to the iPhone 12 line. Didn't look like the Pro, just the regular iPhone 12. And you can pre-order that new color this Friday. It will be available April 30th. Then the long-awaited and much-anticipated AirTag was announced. They call it Singular AirTag, but it is Apple's location tracker device. It looks like that little tag, round, circle, the renders that you've probably seen online, that's pretty much what it looked like. So AirTag, finally real. It comes with different accessories like keychain accessories that you can attach to backpacks or other devices. It has features like precision finding, where if you have an iPhone with a U1 chip, it will actually point your phone and show you an arrow on screen on where to find the AirTag location tracker. The tracker also has a built-in speaker, so it can make a pinging sound if you need to find it there. And notably, it actually has a user replaceable battery. They say the battery lasts about a year, but then you can actually replace it yourself, which is pretty cool. You'll be able to buy one AirTag for $29 or four for $99. AirTag will be available to order Friday, April 30th. The special event then moved on to a new Apple TV 4K model. Apple actually updated the hardware of the Apple TV. They still call it Apple TV 4K, but it is now powered by the A12 Bionic chip. So good spec bump there. It now supports HDR video in high frame rate, like 60 frames per second. And they're updating the AirPlay spec to support that high frame rate HDR. So if you have an iPhone 12 and you've captured HDR Dolby Vision content on your iPhone, you'll be able to airplay that to your new Apple TV 4K and actually see it in HDR at that higher frame rate. They've also introduced a new color balancing tool where you can hold your iPhone up to the TV and the iPhone camera and other proximity sensors can actually help calibrate the color on the Apple TV to get the best color out of your TV possible. But what's an even bigger deal is the Siri remote has been completely redesigned. The new Siri remote is actually all aluminum. They have brought back physical touch buttons, a five-way directional pad up at the top where you can click up, down, left, right, and center. And it still includes a touch surface where you can swipe left and right on that top part of the new Siri remote. Plus, they've added a jog wheel touch feature. So if you want to scrub forward and back in a TV show or movie, you can actually just iPod click wheel style go around that circle at the top of the Siri remote. Really cool feature. It looks like a great redesign. Plus, there's now a dedicated power button and mute button that can control your TV. The Siri button has actually been moved to the side of the remote, much like an iPhone. And you can actually buy this Siri remote separately for $59 if you'd like to just use the new Siri remote with your current Apple TV. The new Apple TV 4K comes in two sizes, 32 gigabytes and 64. The 32 gigabytes is $179. The 64 gigabyte is $199. You'll be able to order this on April 30th, and it's available the second half of May. Now, before we get to the brand new M1-powered iMac and iPad Pro, I want to tell you about our friends at SaneBox. 
Listen, we all deal with a ton of email all the time, and a lot of that is spam or just emails that you don't need to deal with. Inbox Zero, it's a thing of the past because we're so inundated with all the email, and it's no longer about responding to everything. It's about responding only to the important things. How can we surface the emails that truly matter? That's where SaneBox comes in. Think of it as an EMT for your email. As messages flow in, SaneBox does the triage for you, sifting only the important emails in your inbox and directing all the other distracting stuff into your Sane Later folder so you know that messages to pay attention to now and the stuff you need can be right there in your inbox. You'll see that first and all the other stuff you see later on. It's got nifty features like Sane Black Hole, where you can drag messages from annoying senders you never want to hear again, and Sane Reminders to ping you if someone hasn't replied to your email by a certain date. Best of all, you can use SaneBox with any email client or phone anywhere you check your email. See how SaneBox can magically remove distractions from your inbox with a free two-week trial. Visit SaneBox.com slash Apple Insider today to start your free trial and get a $25 credit. That's S-A-N-E-B-O-X dot com slash Apple Insider. SaneBox.com slash Apple Insider today to start your free trial and get a $25 credit. Then Apple announced the brand new iMac powered by the M1 chip. They only announced one size. This is a 24-inch redesigned iMac. It's got a brand new hardware design. The screen is very much reminiscent of an iPad Pro, although I will say it still has that chin at the bottom of the front side of the iMac, like older models, but the screen is definitely a lot thinner, and the stand is almost reminiscent of the Pro Display XDR stand. So it's powered by the M1 chip. It's a 4.5K monitor, 24 inches. Pricing starts at $12.99 for four of the colors. That's the other big thing. It comes in seven different colors, but only four of those available at the $12.99 price point. That's $1,299. And then a higher model, that's $1,499. You have access to all the colors plus more powerful features. The biggest updates here is they've updated the FaceTime front-facing camera to 1080p, a brand new three mic array to help you with those Zoom calls or FaceTime calls. And there's a brand new sound system in the iMac that Apple is saying is spatial audio with Dolby Atmos from the Mac. They're claiming it's the best audio experience on a Mac ever. And of course, with that new M1 chip, it's 85% faster than previous models, two times faster graphics. And on the back, you get up to four USB-C ports, and two of those can be Thunderbolt ports, depending on the model you get. It also supports up to 6K displays, so you can use this new iMac with the Pro Display XDR. It has a unique new power cable that's actually magnetic to the back of the iMac. And then down the braided power cable, this new cable, there's a box that half of it goes to the wall for the power. And you also connect Ethernet into this separate box down the line from the iMac power cable. It's trying to limit the amount of cables plugging into the back of the iMac, probably because it's so thin. But it's a pretty cool little power brick with Ethernet included. But one of the coolest features is there's brand new Magic Keyboards and Magic Mice, all in the seven different colors colors to match this new iMac and Touch ID is now wireless on the smart keyboard. So these new iMacs, you can get it with a magic keyboard, either with the number pad or without, and there is wireless Touch ID. Long time coming there on the iMac. The colors come in a green, yellow, purple, red, orange, blue, and white. More like pastel shades of colors, but it looks pretty cool. You can see a picture of it as the chapter art here right now. And again, the colored accessories like the Magic Mice trackpad or keyboard will match the color iMac that you get. Again, that's $12.99 for the base model, $14.99 for the higher model, and that will be coming April 30th. You can order it. And then the final announcement of the event, this was definitely a loaded event, as Apple was saying, is a brand new iPad Pro, not powered by an A-series chip, but the M1, the same chip that's in the MacBook Pro, Air, Mac Mini, and now the new iMac, is in the new iPad Pro. So we have an M1, the 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU in the new iPad Pro. It has two times faster storage, and you can configure the new iPad Pro up to two terabytes of storage. That's a huge iPad. And the connector, as the rumors were saying, the connector now has Thunderbolt and USB 4 support so you can get super fast data transfers. And 5G cellular connectivity has also come to the iPad Pro. There's a new 12 megapixel 
camera on the front. What's interesting is this new camera, it's 12 megapixels ultra wide, and they have a new feature called center stage. So if you're on a FaceTime call, presumably it will work with other third party apps. But if you're on a call using that FaceTime front facing camera, it will actually follow you around the room. And because it's an ultra wide camera, if you move out of frame, it will actually reframe the shot to keep you in the screen. And if a second person enters the screen, it will zoom out to include both people. Pretty cool. That's called the center stage effect. And as the rumors were saying, the 12.9 inch only, so just the larger model iPad, gets the liquid retina XDR display. That's Apple's term for mini LED. It is a mini LED display. Apple said 10,000 mini LEDs are powering this screen, 2,500 local dimming zones. Again, they're calling it their Liquid Retina XDR on the iPad. They spent lots of time saying that this screen is just incredible. We did not see a new Apple Pencil or new style Magic Keyboard, but there is a new color for the Magic Keyboard. So if you'd like to get the Magic Keyboard in white, that's actually available to you now. But no new Pencil. The previous model Apple Pencil still works with this. Nothing new there. And the previous Smart Keyboard works with these new iPads as well. If you want to get the 11-inch, that's $7.99. If you go with the more expensive 12.9-inch model with that mini LED screen, that starts at $1,099. I also saw in one of the slides, Apple is claiming up to 16 gigabytes of memory. I'm assuming that's RAM. It doesn't look like that's a configuration option on the website right now, so it might just be 11 versus 12.9 inch models, but we'll have more details on that soon. You can order the new iPad Pro powered by the M1 chip on April 30th. Apple said it will be available the second half of May. And so that was the event. Updates to Apple Card, Apple Podcasts, new iPhone 12 color and purple. The long-awaited AirTag is finally launched. New Apple TV 4K hardware and the new iMac powered by M1 and the new iPad Pro powered by the M1. That's your recap for Apple's spring loaded event. Tune in this Friday as we dissect even more some of the details about all these announcements. Don't forget to check out our friends at SaneBox at SaneBox.com slash Apple Insider. You can support the show directly right now at Patreon.com slash Apple Insider where you can get ad-free episodes. I'd love to hear what you thought of the event. You can tweet at me at Steven Robles. My Twitter handle is in the show notes. You can click right there, follow and tweet at me. Are you going to be getting that new iPad Pro, iMac, something else, AirTag maybe? And if you haven't yet, we would greatly appreciate a five-star rating and review in Apple Podcasts. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you this Friday as we dive into even more details of the Apple event.